Okay, today we're gonna to talk about the five things about whole body vibration machines that makes them different than other forms of exercise. Number one, it's a time, it's, it's about time. Thing. Define the time to get ready, get in your car, drive to the gym, get out of your car, walk into the gym, start working out, complete your workout, get back in your car, drive home, come back in the house. A lot of times this can be well over two hours from start to finish. And some people don't have this time. And the second thing, another component about time is when you start seeing results, it, it's a motivational step. It, it helps keep you motivated on your goals. If you're working out week after week after week and you're not seeing the results, it's, it's so easy to give up. With whole body vibration, you're working, you're working the body differently. You force the body to work more efficiently, thus reducing the workout times, reducing the times you see results. Now that's the number five. Number four, when you look at physics, force equals mass times acceleration. Force would be the force placed in the body that it has to, it has to overcome, it has to, it has to deal with. And this is where you burn the calories by how much force you exert. Now, in this equation, you got force equals mass times acceleration. Now, both of those things are important. We are traditionally believe that moving mass, like our bodies from point A to point B, or lifting a weight from point A to point B, this is moving of mass. It's, it's, a, it's very, it's not as efficient as acceleration because roughly you're going to be working out between 28 to 33% of the muscle fibers in a muscle group by doing it the traditional way. Acceleration on the other side is another part of the equation where you're using accelerated force in the body, thus causing you're less prone for injury because you're not moving weight around. You're using acceleration, which the body tends to adapt to it better. That's why when you see people working out, they do negatives. They try to slow down the acceleration of the weight going on the downward rep. This is why whole body vibration is so important because you're using acceleration. A lot of us want to work out. We do things. Our bodies are adapted to this. By engaging acceleration, you're working the body differently. It's all new. The body responds to it better. You get good results. For example, let's just step out of whole body vibration and let's move to other forms of sports that primarily use an accelerated form of energy. And that'd be like gymnastics. It's acceleration, explosive movements, and then sprinters accelerating as fast as you can from point A to point B. It's acceleration. Now with acceleration, you're going to work out up to 97% of the muscle fibers compared to traditional movement of mass where you're just working, you're only working out roughly at average, plus or minus a couple, 30% at most. So if you do a 30-minute a workout with mass, you could break that down to, what's that? Instead of one hour, you're doing what, 15, 20 minutes to get the same amount of exercise output as you do by going to the gym and lifting weights. It's very efficient at losing weight. It's very efficient at putting on muscle. It's, it's different. And by looking at gymnastics and box, uh, gymnastics and, um, and sprinters, they're the leanest people in, in the Olympics. They're drug tested, there's no drugs. There's, it's just, you, you drink water and food and a few supplements. Other than that, it's just natural ability. It's natural. Gymnastics sprinters have the leanest bodies. They have the most, most uh, pleasing muscle because they're using acceleration as a form of exercise or a form of, as a sport, which burns more calories, which puts on more muscle. Thus, this is why whole body vibration, the number four on the list, is so important to health and fitness. The third reason 
The third reason why whole body preparation is, is so important to health and fitness is that it engages all three muscle fiber types. Let me explain. Generic numbers, these are arbitrary numbers, but roughly say that like you got 30, 35, 40% slow twitch. Then say you got 15, 20, 25% fast twitch, and then you have five or 7% reflective type muscle fibers. Now, not the, these muscle fibers are not, they're not, they're not the same, they're different. For example, a slow twitch muscle fiber is designed for conserving energy. It's a very efficient muscle fiber. A fast twitch is a very inefficient fiber, just like a sports car gets worse gas mileage than say like some hybrid car. The super fast twitch is, is, is systems in the body designed to prevent injury and damage. These muscle fibers use the most amount of energy. So when you can find something that primarily focuses on the fast and super fast twitch muscles, you're gonna burn three to four times more calories than if you just emphasize something that primarily stays in the slow twitch category. Third, or number two, number two is muscle fiber types and how they can serve energy. I mentioned in the last one, but slow twitch is designed for, for us to walk because before we could have had grocery stores and gas stations and everything else, we would have to, hunters and gatherers, we'd have to follow the food, move for the food. With this, our bodies have adapted to store body fat during times of famine, to generate slow twitch muscle fibers for more, you know, we learn how our bodies can store the energy. We have a, a muscle system that's designed to save energy so that we can go up to 30, 35, 40 days without eating because our bodies have these built-in systems. Now, fast twitch, say if you're being chased by a bear, you, if you can't run fast, you will die. Our bodies know that by when a fast twitch muscle fiber is activated, there's a reason for this. This is a very inefficient muscle because it's designed for explosive speeds, explosive speeds. Just like a Lamborghini is gonna burn a lot more gas than say like a, a Prius. It's because your, it's the, it's, the, it's the architecture of the muscle fibers and their purposes with, the, with our bodies as a system. Now the super fast twitch, like I mentioned in, in, in number three is that the super fast twitch is designed for emergency type conditions. You, touch, you fall down on ice, you automatically put your hand down. You come, something comes toward your face, automatically go like this. You touch a hot stove, you jerk away. You're standing, your body is making these micro adjustments so that you don't fall down. Now, when it comes down to the pecking order of calorie consumption, slow twitch is very, very efficient. Way down this in the, you start going from efficiency to non-efficiency, you got fast twitch. Fast twitch, the, these muscle fibers burn a lot of calories. That's why the sprinters and gymnastics, the, these, uh, these athletes are so lean and have such beautiful muscle, muscle development. The third muscle fiber type is, is your super fast type muscle fibers controlled thing, thing called the synaptic reflex where the muscles will, a, a, a sense like a proprioceptive nerve, a positioned nerve will fire off. It'll go to the spinal cord and back again causing you to respond to certain conditions that it was built into the system. Now these muscle fibers are the least efficient. I mean, these things just waste energy because they're designed to prevent damage. Very important, because if we, if we keep falling down, we would not survive as a race. We would we'd have been wiped out a long time ago. And number one, which I find is the most important, is that whenever you eat food, the body's gonna break it apart. The acids and all the, everything else is in the body is gonna tear the food into small little pieces that's gonna be absorbed through the intestinal walls and get in the bloodstream where it's carried to specific areas where it's converted to building blocks and energy units. Now, when you understand the body and, and how it is, there's it's a very rudimentary system. We weren't designed to have the foods we eat year round all the time. Now, when you look at the body, and you eat carbohydrates, your blood sugar, because carbohydrates are, are, not, are, are not as abundant as fats. 
in proteins in nature. Carbohydrates are a, was a was a you know how, how often does fruit ripe uh, fruit edible? It depends. You have to wait for the season. You have to wait for the, the, the apples to bloom, then to ripen, and then you eat them. Same with the bananas and same with vegetables. It's kind of seasonal. Now, when you're looking at at at, at carbohydrates, the way our bodies were designed, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 years ago, is that we mainly consumed high fat protein in the winter and then in the summer and spring especially in the fall we would have like we'd have more carbohydrates now when you eat a carbohydrate which we normally did not eat every single meal our bodies would break it apart and it goes through the blood system as, as a thing called blood sugar or glycogen now glycogen is measured in deciliters so there's micro there's micro amounts of these free floating to the to the bloodstream sugar little molecules that our bodies have to control and that's through the use of insulin and it controls what's called blood sugar levels that's why diabetics have to worry about their their bodies are so insensitive to carbohydrates that they their blood sugar can go up and down violently now the secret to losing weight we think it's about starving ourselves, but actually it's not because you can eat a heavily restricted diet, say a thousand calories a day, but it's mainly of carbohydrates. You could be starving, malnutrition, be getting sick, but getting fatter. Because when your blood sugar goes, like a normal person's blood sugar is between 80 to 120 deciliters per liter. So there's a, there's a level that the body will go on. You eat, it goes into is in blood sugar, blood sugar goes up high. As it gets to like 120 in a normal person, it starts to wriggle up because the body starts producing insulin that starts converting it to fat for storage. And then when it goes back down, it, once it hit, it goes underneath that 100 marks, so between 80 and 120, at, at the 100 and down, roughly. It, it might be different, but it's gonna be plus or minus one or 2%. Now when the blood sugar gets below 100, you're now in a condition of hypoglycemic hypoglycemia where hyperglycemia is when your blood sugar is above 100 when it's below it's hypo whenever you go into a hypoglycemic condition in the body the body will then activate the systems to pull fat off the adipose tissue to be converted to energy to be used as a ketone in the cells now one of the magic things about whole body vibration is because it's working muscle fibers that use the most amount of calories, the first calories it starts going after is the stuff in the blood. And once your blood sugar is, the faster you get your blood sugar below 100, the more it's going to pull fat off the body, the faster you lose weight. This is why when you see all these, these commercials with these, these, these little frozen dinners you eat, man, it's, it's like 80% carbohydrates, 15% protein and 5% uh, fat. So you're just, you regulate, you're, you're trying to regulate the body, you're trying to burn body fat off, but you're, you have to starve yourself severely. Whole body vibration uses the fast twitch, super fast twitch muscles, which use the most amount of sugar the quickest, thus causing your body to go into a hypoglycemic condition, which then promotes fat released from the storage to be used as a ketone as energy. The five things again are workout duration, it's time. Time is important. Acceleration versus mass, how they're both different. Third is muscle fiber types. How, you know, there's, there's three muscle fiber, mainly three different muscle fiber types that are in the skeletal muscle. Then the percentage of muscle fiber types between the muscle fibers and how they use energy differently. And the fifth and final one is the lactic acid. The sooner you get your blood sugar below 100, the faster you burn body fat. It's that simple. This is Dr. Mike with iFit Lifestyle. This is our version four, it just came out. I wanna thank you. I'm just trying to make the video shorter, more direct, less ums and mm, and make it a little more efficient. So this is Dr. Mike, thank you and have a great day.